Cesar Chavez was an American farm worker, labor leader, and civil rights activist who, with Dolores Huerta, co-founded the National Farm Workers Association. Although he worked much of his adult life to help immigrant and migrant farm workers, many people didn't realize he was born American. He was born March 31, 1927 in Yuma, Arizona. He grew up on a dust bowl farm with a large family and lived until 1993 when he died in his sleep in San Luis, Arizona. He had four siblings. As a child, Caesar's life was very easy. They had a huge farm that stretched over 160 acres. The family had their own stream, house, yard, and dust bowl farm and more. They, they would sleep outside and tell stories under a net to keep mosquitoes off. Caesar's younger sister got really sick and passed away at the age of three. Around a year after that, they lost their farm and became migrant farm workers. They were treated horribly and in Caesar's opinion, practically became slaves. This formed his forever character. He possessed many character traits that led to his later success. A lot of reasons why he was, he was successful was because he was stubborn, intelligent, hardworking, self-motivated, organized, and determined. All of those combined makes a really good person. Do you know who Cesar Chavez was? Oh, yes, I do. What effect did he have on the world? Well, he had a huge effect on the world. And I know that you've studied him because you were telling me some things about him. He was the champion of an underdog. He was right in line with Martin Luther King and Nelson Mandela, who stood up and uh, lifted up people who were abused, people who were taken advantage of. And the people he helped were the farm workers, usually uh, undocumented immigrants from Central South America, Mexico. They farmed all through uh, California, Arizona, other parts of the West, and they were paid very poorly. And um, their conditions were very bad, their living conditions, and they had no health benefits. And Cesar Chavez lifted in front of the American people the situation with them. And one of the things he did was he led a boycott. And a boycott, as you know... A boycott is when you don't buy products until policies change. I came to the farmer's market to ask people if they knew who Cesar Chavez was and how they changed our lives today. Yes, he was a great man. He stood up to our farmers' rights and uh, changed things in history. It's nice to see that a lot of people know the name Cesar Chavez. Some of the big effects of his stand are civil disobedience. He showed us that the peaceful civil disobedience was illegal, but an effective way to make things change. In the 1980s garlic strike, he organized many elderly women, children, and workers to go into the fields during a strike, knowing that they would get arrested. They overfilled the jail cells and then refused to leave. This made the newspapers and drove the sheriffs crazy. It still is looked at today as a legacy action. Two, minimum wage. He helped to establish a minimum wage for workers back then. Better food. His attention to the health of workers also led to greater awareness of pesticides. We have many more organic options today and can enjoy them knowing people are paid properly and pick, to pick and grow them. By taking a stand for human rights, this dedicated man helped millions and the results of his work continue today. We see his name on schools, murals, statues, parks, streets, highways, and even a naval ship named the USNS Cesar Chavez. Visit CesarChavezFoundation.org.